Welcome to the 4-H Award of Excellence Ceremony. I'm Travis Clark, Arkansas 4-H President from Faulkner County. Thank you for joining me at tonight's celebration. We'll celebrate the outstanding work of Arkansas's top 4-H members and the wonderful support of our many donors. We are so pleased to have the Arkansas Electric Cooperatives be a huge part of tonight's program again this year. Please rise as Haley Burden, Arkansas 4-H officer from Benton County, and Mary Alice Cole, Arkansas 4-H officer from Izzard County, lead us in the American and 4-H Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge my allegiance to their intention, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to heart of service, my health to better living, for my club, my community, my country, and my world. I am Laurel Mayo, 4-H State Officer from Benton County, and on behalf of the 500 4-H members participating in the 2016 Arkansas 4-H Arama, I can assure you that we appreciate the opportunity to experience all the aspects of the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. Conducting a successful program for 131,000 youth would be impossible without the support of many people. We are honored to have some of these people as our guests this evening. We would like to now ask Dr. Tony Windham, Associate Vice President for Agriculture to introduce our guest. When he calls your name, please stand to be recognized. Thank you, Laurel. Um, welcome, everyone. We're glad to have you here again this year for the 4-H Arama. This is one of the highlights of our 4-H year, so we're very uh, proud that you're all here. I do have a, a list of uh, guests to recognize. It's a fairly long list, uh, bear with me. They're all very important. I would ask that they please stand and remain standing and, and at the end, if you'll hold your applause, we'll recognize all of them and, and thank them. I wanna start with uh, Mr. Charles and, and Sharon Killian, please stand. Um, Dr. Martha Ray Sarter, Director of County Operations for Extension Service. Ms. Sharon Reynolds, District Director, Ozark District. Ms. Beth Phelps, District Director, Washita District. They're sitting in the back row. Jerry Clements, District Director for Delta District. Mr. Rob Rodale, Manager of Corporate Communications at Electric Cooperative of Arkansas. Mr. Noah Washburn, Interim 4-H Department Leader. Mr. Ralph Shoptal, President of the Arkansas 4-H Foundation. Ms. Judy Riley, treasurer of the Arkansas 4-H Foundation and her husband, Tom. Dr. Darlene Millard, former state 4-H leader with her guests, Becky and Anita, please stand. Uh, Ms. Etta Marie Belden, Arkansas Alumni Association President. Ms. Johnette Johnson, Arkansas Extension Homemaker Council President and her guest, Darlene Holliday. Um, Ms. Lisa Gamble, Arkansas 4 H Adult Leader Association President. Ms. Amy Lyman, Ag Heritage and Farm Credit Services. Mr. Ed Mabry and his guest, Venus Bent. Uh, Mr. Mabry is a 4 H Foundation Board Member. Dr. Lona Robertson, Interim Dean of the Bumpers College. So glad to have her here. She, we're really her guest these few days while we're here on campus. I understand she was out in the heat cooking hot dogs today for us. So. We special thanks to Dr. Robertson. Ms. Jill Robertson is Communication and Marketing Specialist with Farm Credit of Western Arkansas. Uh, Ms. Diane Mashburn is President of the Arkansas Extension 4-H Agents. Mr. Bill Russell and his guest, Mary Ryan. Mr. Glenn Manchester is President and CEO of Farm Credit of Western Arkansas. Joel and Kim Harrison, donors and longtime 4-H supporters from White County. Dr. Donna Graham, if she made it over, she's a professor in Ag and Extension Education here on campus. 
Dr. Betsy Garrison is director of the School of Family and Consumer Sciences. Dr. Mike Looper is department head for animal science. Ms. Christina, or Dr. Christina Miller, I should say, is assistant to my boss, Dr. Mark Cochran. Uh, Mr. Brian Hams is our fund development officer with Extension. Ms. Mika Hatcher from Fayetteville Rotary Club and her guest, Carol Waddle. And last but not least, Mr. Chuck Culver, Director of Development with the Division of Agriculture. Please join me in thanking all these people. All of these people represent supporters of 4-H in, in various ways. Donors are serving on boards and, and, and everything, and we're very thankful for them. The next uh, thing on the agenda is a special recognition. This year, we're going to recognize a very special friend of 4-H for 2016. And this year's uh, recognition goes to Mr. Will Phelan. And if I could ask Mr. Phelan to please come up on the stage. I'd also like to recognize, and, and Will said this is the most important part, to recognize Miss Tiffany Tiffin, his fiance. Please wave. <laughs> so in 1992, there was a multi-purpose building built at the C.A. Vines 4-H Center. And after five years of use, Mr. Vines, who was Mr. 4-H in Arkansas, recommended that the building be named in honor of the Phelan family in recognition of their significant support of agriculture and youth in Arkansas. And then in 2015, uh, Mr. Will Phelan approached the 4-H Center with a generous offer to renovate the building that had been named in his parents' honor. Phelan Hall is one of the most heavily used buildings on the 4-H campus. And through Will Phelan's donation, a major update and moder modernization of the interior has been completed and actually been in use now for a couple of months. There was a major update and uh, uh, of new heat and air conditioning, LED lighting, a significant increase to the insulation in the building, new doors. Some people are very excited in the fact that there is a commercial grade kitchen in there, thanks to Will. Um, and also with new tile flooring and completely new re restrooms, completely renovated this very important building at the 4-H Center. This re uh, reno renovation creates the ability to expand the use of Phelan Hall and therefore increase the opportunities for both youth and adults throughout, the Ar throughout Arkansas. So there will be a plaque placed on the entrance to Phelan Hall and it will be a rendition of Mr. and Miss A.M. Phelan, Will's parents, and the plaque will, will have these words on it. Renovation in honor of Mr. and Ms. A.M. Phelan III by the family of Pinnacle Structures Incorporated in recognition of Phelan's commitment to the youth of Arkansas. So before I present our, our little um, plaque to Mr. Phelan tonight, I, I, I want to emphasize the fact that this family has been extremely generous to Arkansas 4-H. And when we say significant contribution, it was a very significant contribution. And we will be forever grateful, Will, for your contribution. So with that, please join me in thanking Will for this donation. So Will and Tiffany made very special arrangements to be here for this. We're thankful for that. They have to leave. They have other commitments. We thank you for coming, and we appreciate you. Thank you, Dr. Windham, and thank you very much, Mr. Feeland. 
We also want to recognize a continuing partnership with the electric cooperatives of Arkansas. Please join me in recognizing Mr. Rob Rodell, Manager of Cooperative Communications at Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Thank you, Mr. Rodell, for coming tonight and representing the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. We appreciate everything that you and your organization does to support the youth of Arkansas 4-H. Mr. Rodell, would you please stand so we can recognize you for the Electric Cooperative's continued support. Alexandria Hunter, Arkansas 4-H Vice President, Washita District, and Autumn Gregg, Arkansas 4-H Vice President, Ozark District, will introduce the state scholarship winners. We ask that during the awards, do not come to the front to take pictures, so we can keep the uh, so we can keep the program flowing. We have a photographer here taking pictures uh, of all the winners, and these pictures will be available for you for free. You can access these at www.uaex.edu forward slash 4-H live. The live address can be found on the back of your program and the photos will be made available at a later time. If you haven't already done so, there's a photo booth set up outside right over there. Uh, you may use to take pictures after the ceremony. The purpose of the 4-H scholarship program is to recognize outstanding 4-H members for their accomplishment in project work, citizenship, leadership, and encourage additional study at institutions of higher learning. A total of 90,000 in scholarships is being awarded tonight. This year's recipients will come forward and receive their scholarships checks as we give you some information about each scholarship. Dr. Tony, Tony Windham will be giving the out the award tonight. Ada and Tyrell Anderson 4-H Scholarship was established to recognize and memorialize the care and concern that the Andersons had for the lives of youth in Madison and Washington counties. This year's recipient is Cheyenne Walking Stick of Madison County. Cheyenne will receive $6,000. The next scholarship has an extra special meaning this year. The Robert D. and Betty F. Oliver Scholarship was originally created to honor the Oliver's par parents. It's for 4-H members who plan to pursue degrees from the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville and have excelled as leaders and citizens within their community. Both Betty and her husband Robert passed away recently and we want to offer our condolences from our 4-H family to their family for their loss. This year, Donald Reese from Yale County earned this scholarship. Donald will receive $1,000. This year's recipient of the John W. White Scholarship is Journey Wilson from Benton County. Journey will receive $1,000. Next is the CA and Joy Vines Scholarship. Mrs. Vines was an outstanding 4-H member and lifetime supporter of extension work. Mr. Vines spent 40 years with the University of Arkansas serving in various roles such as County Extension Agent, Interim Vice President for Agriculture, and the Arkansas 4-H Foundation, and was instrumental in the building of our beloved 4-H Center. The recipient of this scholarship is Blake Rogers, Washington County. Blake will receive $1,000. The next scholarship was established in 1981 and recognizes a graduating high school senior and an Arkansas 4-H teen star who has done outstanding work in the area of leadership. Alexandria Hunter from Clark County is the recipient of the Zach O. and Jenny D. Jennings Scholarship. 
Alexandria will receive $1,000. The Oaklawn Jockey Club Arkansas Livestock Show Scholarships are sponsored by the Arkansas State Fair. To be eligible, a 4-H member must have shown livestock at the State Fair during the past three years and be a high school senior. The first recipient is Abigail Sanders, Johnson County. The second recipient is Aaron Morse, Sevier County. The third recipient is Autumn Gregg, Washington County. The fourth recipient is Bailey Stettmeyer, Benton County. Each of these recipients will receive $400. Raymond C. Cox Scholarship is made possible by the Arkansas 4-H Alumni Association. The Alumni Association awards their scholarships in honor of the late Raymond C. Cox, the first state chairman. Mrs. Edda Marie Belden, representing the Alumni Association, will make the presentation. This year's first recipient is Haley Burden, Benton County. Haley will receive $500. The second recipient is Lauren Leonard, Benton County. Lauren will receive $500. In 1994, Arkansas 4-H members gained the opportunity to apply for the Maida Asbel Scholarship. Mrs. Asbel was a longtime supporter of 4-H, and this year's recipient has been a devoted 4-H member. Making this presentation is Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Shopta? No. no. Ralph. Mr. Ralph Shopta. <laughs> this year's recipient is Gabrielle Looney, Washington County. Gabrielle will receive $450. The Seiden Stricker, fa Stricker Family Scholarship was established to recognize an outstanding Arkansas 4 H member. This year's recipient is Laurel Mayo, Benton County. Laurel will receive $1,000. For the first time, Arkansas 4-H is pleased to offer a brand new scholarship called the Fayetteville Rotary Club Dale Killian Memorial Scholarship. The recipient is Susanna Luther from Washington County. Susanna will receive $1,000 and presenting this award is Charles and Sharon Killian. Congratulations to these winners. Let's give them all another round of applause. Travis will now introduce our first Governor's Award finalist. Thank you, Autumn and Alexandria. Since 1983, Arkansas 4-H has bestowed the 4-H Governor's Award upon one for outstanding 4-H member each year. This award is based on achievement in 4-H and overall contribution to the 4-H program and is the highest award you can receive in the 4-H program. Please turn your attention to the screens as we honor Lauren Sheevers from Washington County. I started out 4-H when I heard that you could show cattle at the county fair. And of course, I think like a lot of 4-Hers, as soon as I got in, I realized that there was so much more you could do. I think I went to every single county activity you possibly could. Um, I remember distinctly singing at Share the Fun and modeling at Fun and Fashion. My favorite, of course, presenting at Demonstration Day. At the beginning, it was just kind of the getting out there and having fun with it. You know, I really wasn't worried about placing in anything. 
Um, of course, I started getting a little more competitive as I started to get older because I realized there were opportunities to go on and compete at other levels. So I started getting involved um, in other projects such as sewing, I did some crop and seed ID, and then of course public speaking was my passion. My favorite part of 4-H is getting 4 to be excited and work together to make the best better. Lauren held almost every office that we had as, as uh, the young riders. Uh, she brought to the table some, some things that we weren't familiar with, the demonstration speeches, and, and uh, she helped us with the record book. Uh, we were pretty much a horse club that did some 4-H things, and we kind of turned into a 4-H club that did some horse things. I had so many opportunities to do community service work through 4-H, especially helping younger kids, which was one of my passions. A couple years ago, in 2013, I actually competed at the Western National Roundup and presented a speech on Coggins Check, which was on equine infectious anemia, and actually won first down there at the Western National Roundup. Um, definitely did not expect it, and I think we cried halfway back to Arkansas. I was actually you know, a teen star and got the opportunity to go to Congress, which was an amazing experience. You know, I would not have traded that trip for anything. And this past year, I was also named into the Arkansas 4-H Hall of Fame which meant a lot to me because, you know, growing up we went down there and kind of seen some people we recognized. So it was kind of that excitement of you've seen these people all growing up and just to know that you can leave your mark on 4-H like they did. You know, I honestly think that 4-H has made me who I am. It took me from somebody who was always outgoing and loved to talk, but it helped me to develop my public speaking skills so that way now I'm pursuing a degree where I can actually utilize those skills. Well, I first met Lauren about five years ago when she was a 4-H'er and she was emceeing a fun and fashion event in our county. Um, she had outstanding composure and the type of students we look for in agricultural communication. And at that point, you know, recruiting's always on my mind and I thought, that's a girl that I want in my program. And what we've seen is that her composure continues. Uh, she's one of the most polished freshman students that we have. However, they also told us that it was not user friendly and it served very little purpose. 4-H is what made me want to go to college to major in agriculture communications. It's what's made me down the road want to be a 4-H leader or be a 4-H parent someday. But you know, as a person, it's made me who I am. It's made me a leader, responsible, organized. And you know, it's given me that lifetime of memories that I'll never forget. Would she please come forward to receive her uh, award for being a finalist? Congratulations, Lauren. We have a special treat tonight. Two of our state 4-H officers, Laurel Mayo and Alexandria Hunter, will perform a song by Maddie and Tay, The Downside of Growing Up. Pack your bags and hug your mom. You've been dreaming about leaving for so long. Well, you start to cry as you crank the truck. Yeah, that's the downside to growing up. You're fixing up your brand new place. First day and it's something brand well, your dad's not there to get you unstuck. Yeah, that's the downside to growing up. Well, that's all right. That's okay. It's just the way you find your way. It's the road you gotta take to get where you're going. You're 
gonna twist, you're gonna turn, but it's how you're gonna learn a lot about life, a lot about love, on the downside to growing up. It starts out as a single date, before too long he's your everything. Until he leaves, you're standing in a cloud of dust. Yeah, well, that's, that's the downside to growing up. up. Well, that's, that's all right. That's okay. It's just the way you find your way. It's the road you gotta take to get where you're going. You're, you're gonna, gonna twist, twist, you're gonna turn, but it's how you're gonna learn a lot about life a lot about love on the downside to growing up i know what you're feeling yeah i understand because where you are is where i've been where i still am and that's all right that's okay i know i'll find my way on the road I'm gonna take to get where I'm going. I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna turn, but it's how I'm gonna learn a lot about life, a lot about love, on the downsides to growing up. A lot about life, a lot about love, on the downsides to growing up. Thank you, Laurel and Ag Alexandria, that was beautiful. For many years, the next group of winners has worked hard on their projects to be the best that they can be and excelled in those project areas. Tonight, we are awarding them their record book scholarships to use it in an institution of higher learning. Presenting the first set of scholarships is Mr. Rob Shaltal. Sierra Adams, from Clark County in Foods and Nutrition. Her trip is sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Joseph Bradbury from Benton County in Technology and Engineering, sponsored by Arkansas 4-H Endowment. <laughs> Colton Bernard, in, from Washington County in Plant and Soil Science, sponsored by the Arkansas 4-H Endowment. <laughs> Tanner Burks from Madison County in Goats, sponsored by the Centennial Scholarship Endowment. <laughs> Mary Alice Cole from Izzard County in Photography, sponsored by the Bob Buse Endowment. Julia Denherter from Washington County in Gardening and Horticulture, sponsored by the Hazel Jordan Endowment. <laughs> Autumn Gregg from Washington County in Fruits and Nutrition, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Jamie Jarding from Benton County in Foods and Nutrition, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Delin Kesslering from Independence County and Family Life, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Alexis Looper from Sebastian County and Fabrics and Fashion, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Alexander Matlock from White County and Gardening and Horticulture, sponsored by Hazel Jordan Endowment. Braden Mead from Independence County in Health and Fitness, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Cody Rebke from Washington County in Health and Fitness, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Blake
Mike Rogers from Washington County in consumer education sponsored by the Centennial Scholarship Endowment. <laughs> Kirsten Rouse from Independence County in Arts and Humanities sponsored by the Centennial Scholarship Endowment. <laughs> Cheyenne Walking Stick from Madison County in Family Life sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Crockett Ward from Searcy County in Safety, sponsored by the Arkansas 4 H Endowment. <laughs> Presenting the next three scholarships are Jim and er, Joel and Kim Harrison. Laurel Mayo from Benton County in Leadership, sponsored by the CES Credit Union. Joe McAuley from White County in Environmental Stewardship, so sponsored by Joel and Kim Harrison. <laughs> Sarah Smith from Faulkner County in Horse, sponsored by Joel and Kim Harrison. Presenting the next two scholarships is the president of EHC, Ms. Jeanette Johnson and Lisa Gamble. Heather Jackson from Pike County in Leadership, sponsored by the Arkansas EHC. <laughs> Olivia McClure from Saline County in Foods and Nutrition, sponsored by the Arkansas 4-H Volunteer Leaders. Presenting the next set of scholarships is Dr. Tony Windham. Haley Burden from Benton County in Animal Science, sponsored by Dr. Richard Forsyth Scholarship. John Dillard from Union County, Environmental Stewardship, sponsored by Arkansas Farm Bureau. Miles Hamilton from Benton County in Animal Science, sponsored by Dr. Richard Forsyth Scholarship. <laughs> Lauren Leonard from Benton County in Arts and Humanities, sponsored by the 4-H License Plate Fund. <laughs> Gabrielle Looney from Washington County in Technology and Engineering, sponsored by the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. Mitchell Nelson from Madison County in Plant and Soil Science, sponsored by the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. <laughs> Abigail Sanders from Johnson County in Goats, sponsored by Radius and Virginia James. Foster, Foster Thomas from Greene County in Shooting Sports, sponsored by the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. Andrew Ward from Pope County in Safety, sponsored by the 4-H License Plate Fund. Journey Wilson from Benton County in Leadership, sponsored by Richard Forsyth Scholarship. Cami York from Pike County in Safety, sponsored by the 4-H License Plate Fund. Yeah. 
Congratulations to this group of scholarship recipients. Please turn your attention to the screens as we showcase Heather Jackson, our second Governor's Award finalist. I joined in the first grade. My dad had deployed to Iraq for the very first time. And for our family, that was like a shake up because like, it was huge for us. And being in 4 H is something that kind of helped me bring me out of the shock of what happened. I remember Heather coming in as a little bitty girl with her mother and uh, they were wanting something for the children to do so we put them to work and uh, she has just bloomed. I got interested in leadership through um, a community service project that I started in 2009 when a tornado hit me in Arkansas. We ran the drive and collected 1,647 items. And for a little school, that's a lot. So how many of you have been in an emergency? For the last few years, I've been coming in and speaking to the third grade and giving speeches about how they can start their own first aid kit and kind of talking to them about what an emergency is. And then I also have been speaking to larger groups like high schoolers about, you know, you need, you need to think about if your family was in an emergency, what are you going to do? Do you think that's going to keep you warm? She's developed from being the shy, timid child that she was as a clover bud to a confident young lady that can speak before groups of hundreds of people and do an outstanding job. I went to your National 4-H conference. I also um, got to travel to Atlanta for National 4-H Congress and I went on CWF as a delegate from Arkansas. I've actually participated in a lot of community service we um, so, so started sewing these dresses for the girls in Africa, but then we've also done projects where we've sewn and made um, their washcloths, and we made little care packages out of them and donated them to the Ronald McDonald House. My art teacher told me I could start doing a series of artwork about 4-H, and I really think that was something that helped me like show people this is what I love about 4-H because I had a hard time expressing it in words. What was really cool about one of my pieces is she allowed me to put it in the fair and it actually won best to show. I feel like 4-H has prepared me for college and beyond because it's made me a better speaker, a better person, be a better leader, a better team player. It gave me the opportunity to travel. It also helped me become more organized in school. When senior year came, I needed scholarship money and 4-H is what helped me you know, through the community service and leadership, that's what really made me stand out from other people. I think it's given her a sense of responsibility, especially towards her college work. She's very organized. She is always on time with her assignments. Her work is very much on target. 4-H is a, an organization I've been in love with, and everybody's always told me that if, you were, if you're going to do a job, don't just have a job. Make sure you love it. And I wanted to do something that I could give back to the 4-H organization and I chose that I want to be an extension agent one day so I can give back to the program. Yeah. Heather, please join us on stage. She is being recognized as a top finalist for her hard work and de dedication to Arkansas 4-H program. Making the presentation is Dr. Tony Windham, Associate Vice President of Agriculture. We will now honor the 2016 State 4-H Advanced Project winners. Project work is a key component of the 4-H program. 
Through 4-H projects, 4-H members learned life, life skills such as decision making, communication, responsibility, service to the community, and record keeping. Many years ago, Mr. C.A. Vines, and an extension legend, established the Vines Medallion as a form of recognition for state record book winners. Mr. Ralph Shoptaw, President, Arkansas 4-H Foundation, will present the medallions. As we recognize our 2016 state project winners, we would like to give special recognition to the organizations, businesses, and individuals who throughout their contributions have made this recognition possible. Many friends of 4-H have provided the resources to make the winner's trip to National 4-H Congress possible. Donors will be recognized with the trip they sponsor. Please hold your applause until after each group of record book winners have been recognized. Our first group of record book winners have made significant, significant accomplishments in the area of enhanced health and well-being. Jasmine Berry Hill, Hot Springs County, Foods and Nutrition Food Preparation, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Austin Brown, Faulkner County, Health and Fitness. Sagely Burnett, Washington County, Foods and Nutrition, Food Preparation, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Heaven Coker, Benton County, Foods and Nutrition, Food Preparation, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Allison Creasy, Benton County, Foods and Nutrition, Food Preparation, sponsored by the Riceland Foods. <laughs> Katie Elliott, Benton County, Foods and Nutrition, Food Preparation, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Caleb Jacobs, Pope County, in safety, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Brianna Lewis, Montgomery County, Foods and Nutrition, Food Preparation, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. <laughs> Taylor Pate, Pike County, Foods and Nutrition, Food Preparation, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Let's give all these winners a hand for their hard work. One of the main goals of 4-H youth development is to encourage individual development. Our next group of state winners excelled in the project areas accomplishing this goal. First up, we have Ashlyn Bunn from White County in citizenship and sponsored by Joel and Kim Harrison. Lane Fritch, Benton County, Arts and Humanities, sponsored by the 4-H License Plate Fund. <laughs> Katie Gardner, Washington County, Arts and Humanities, sponsored by Bob and Sharon Reynolds and the 4-H donors. John Hansen, Craighead County, Citizenship. Alexandria Hunter, Clark County, Arts and Humanities, sponsored by the CES Retirees. Bree Lanthrop, Drew County, Photography, sponsored by Bill Russell in memory of Dr. Lynn Russell. <laughs> Anastasia Mills from Saline County, Arts and 
Humanities, sponsored by the 4-H License Plate Fund. Sarah Beth Toll, Prairie County, Leadership, sponsored by Arkansas Association of 4-H Extension Agents. Ethan Williams, Crawford County Leadership, sponsored by Arkansas Forage Volunteer Leaders Association. Let's give all these winners a hand for their hard work. This year's 4-H project winners for animal science are Eden Barney, Polk County, Animal Science, sponsored by the 4-H Livestock Fund. Mark Butler, Lone Oak County, in Goats, sponsored by the 4-H Livestock Fund. Austin Cook from Faulkner County in Beef, sponsored by the 4-H Livestock Fund. <laughs> Caitlin Copeland, Green County in Swine. Cheyenne Gillum, Independence County in Goats, sponsored by the 4-H Livestock Fund. <laughs> Elizabeth Hatchell, Polk County and Rabbits, sponsored by the 4-H Livestock Fund. <laughs> Madison Looper, Sebastian County, in Poultry Science, sponsored by the 4-H Livestock Fund. Hope McAlee, White County, in Pets, sponsored by Joel and Kim Harrison. Mallory Perkins, Lone Oak County, in Swine, sponsored by Dennis R. Millard Memorial. <laughs> Gabby Sisk, Franklin County, in Animal Science, sponsored by the Arkansas State Fair. Let's give all these winners a hand for their hard work. The project winners in the Plant and Soil Science Initiative area are Timothy Davis from Jackson County, Gardening and Horticulture, sponsored by Hazel Jordan Endowment. <laughs> Katie Dickey, Washington County, Gardening and Horticulture, sponsored by Hazel Jordan Endowment. Blake Helms, Clark County, Plant and Soil Science, sponsored by Southern Cotton Jenner's Association. Let's give these winners another hand for their hard work. The winners in the initiative area of protecting the environment are Zane Pittman, Saline County, Outdoor Adventures, sponsored by Beth Phelps. Wyatt Richardson, Faulkner County, Shooting Sports, sponsored by Tony and Rose Windham. <laughs> I
Isaac Wallace, Benton County, Wildlife Management, sponsored by Epsilon Sigma Phi. Let's give all of these winners a hand for their hard work. One of the fastest growing and most exciting initiative areas is that of utilizing science and technology. Our final winners have excelled in this field. Maria Eatman, Pike County, Vet Science, sponsored by Martha Ray Sarter. Kaylee Jo Guthrie, Izzard County, Vet Science, sponsored by the 4-H License Plate Fund. Kimberly K, Benton County, in Robotics, sponsored by Arkansas Association of Cooperative Extension Specialists. Danica Tate, Benton County, in Vet Science, sponsored by Lance Kirkpatrick and Jenny Householder. Let's give these winners a hand for their hard work. The project winner in Valuing Ag Agriculture Initiative is Josh Carlton from Nevada County in Agriculture, Ar sponsored by the Arkansas County Agriculture Agents Association. Let's give this winner another hand for his hard work. The project winners in Strengthening Families Initiative are Kennedy Blue from Howard County and Family Life, sponsored by National Extension Association of Family and Consumer Sciences. <laughs> Laura Ogden, Madison County and Family Life, sponsored by Sam and Helen Walton Childhood Development Fund. and Caitlin Romine from Washington County and Family Life, sponsored by the Sioux Marshall Endowment. Let's give the, all these winners another big hand. Please turn your attention to the screen as we present Stephanie Williams, our final Governor's Award finalist. I was five years old and the first thing I remember doing is going to our county cooking competition at Harding University and cooking Cloverbud cookies. They're my favorite cookies in the world still to this day and I remember doing that and I also remember um, showing a cow, or I tried to show a cow. I've kept doing cooking competitions. I've gone to uh, county, district, and state levels in cooking competitions. And eventually, um, a few years ago, our families come out with a cookbook. It's called A Treat for the Week and More. There's all our award-winning recipes that we've won um, in 4-H competitions and uh, fairs. And through that cookbook, 4-H has also been promoted because that's what we base a lot of what we've done is through 4-H. As I kept getting older, I kept doing more competitions. I started doing Agri Day. As I kept cooking, got more into the livestock. Once you get older, you get to start going on the trips. So I got to go to DC and Atlanta and Kansas City and it just kept progressing and you get to know more people and go to camps and then eventually be counselors. Stephanie's been a great asset for White County as far as um, her leadership abilities that she has and she portrays 4-H and everything that she does whether it be cooking or livestock or leadership or competitive activities or counselor she's always willing to kind of lend a helping hand wherever it's needed she's just been invaluable to us and I would say we have some of the best extension agents um, that are like help us uh, do things what we want to do 
I feel like the biggest thing I've gained is friendships. I know people now in Puerto Rico and Hawaii and Alaska. And then the kids from Arkansas have gotten to learn them more and just be better friends to them. And so I feel like I've gained lifelong friends. I have a love for animals and that's where my passion lies. So the big thing I focused on was the Humane Society. At the state Rama, I won a technology showcase a few years ago. Through the technology showcase, I made coloring books, I made boards, PowerPoints, everything that I could set in banks, in uh, schools, and show kids. And through that, Animals Got Homes, people gave stuff back to the Humane Society. The interesting thing about Stephanie is she didn't stop with just being a good kid that's polite and does well in school. She's taken, she's taken everything that she's done and turned it into something that she has both excelled at and something that she has used in a way to lead and mentor others, which I know is, is the goal of 4-H. Through 4-H, it's also brought me into the horses, so I'm now um, the Arkansas State Fair Rodeo Queen, which gave me a scholarship to Southern Arkansas University. So I have a four-year scholarship there um, and to be on their rodeo team. And so it's given me a big jump, a big head start in college. I also know how to cook, for it's given me cooking skills uh, like none other, so I won't starve in college or anything. Uh, the people skills, like I said, getting to know people and having friends. Stephanie, Stephanie, please join us on stage. She's being recognized as a top finalist for her hard work and dedication to Arkansas 4-H. Congratulations. And now, I would like to ask Dr. Darlene Millard, former Arkansas 4-H leader, to come and present our Governor's Award. She will be assisted by Dr. Tony Windham, Mr. Noah Washburn, and Dr. Christine Miller, assistant to the Vice President of Agriculture, as a representative from Dr. Mark Cochran's office. Thank you. I think you can agree after having seen the videos for all three of our finalists that certainly it could go to any one of those three. Um, I told Angie that I would give just a tiny little bit of information about the background of the Governor's Award, and lest you think this is a political award, especially this year, um, I would say that when um, I was on the State 4-H staff many, many years ago and was challenged by our State 4-H leader to come up with something that would entice our outstanding members to stay involved in 4-H and to continue to give back and give us a way to recognize them. And so we came up with the Governor's Award. And at that time, there, and I'm not gonna use names, so you can just use your imaginations, but at that time, the governor who agreed to allow us to name this the Governor's Award was a Republican. However, between that time in 1982 and the time the first award was presented in 1983, a Democrat then became uh, the occupant of the governor's mansion. And so it's really not about politics at all, but about outstanding young people and this being indeed the top award in the state. So tonight, I'm very proud and honored to present to you the 34th Arkansas 4-H Governor's Award recipient from Washington County, Ms. Lauren Cheevers.
Congratulations to Lauren Shevers for being the Governor's Award recipient. We would like to again, again thank Arkansas Electric Cooperatives and the Arkansas Farm Bureau Federation for making this evening possible. Let's give them a round of applause for all they do for this organization. We have a few quick announcements to make. Thanks to electric, the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, everyone gets a stainless steel mason jar before you leave tonight. Adults, you may pick up yours on the way out. There's a table set up for you down the stairs. Foragers will have a set up, table set up for you to pick up your cups after the dance so you don't have to keep them while dancing. <laughs> Be sure to check out the State Orama Yap because it is one of the ways you can win a, one of our big prizes from the electric cooperatives. Don't forget, you can always follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter feed using the, the username at Arkansas4H. If you haven't already downloaded the app, uh, it's, the code is STATEORAMA, all caps, no uh, symbols or anything, just STATEORAMA. There will be a dance immediately following this after 45 minutes for us to set up, of course. <laughs> so please exit, go down the stairs, and wait till we call you back up. New and retiring ambassadors will be recognized at the Events Awards Assembly tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m. in here in the ball ballroom. So, <laughs> so ambassadors, wear your polo and khakis. And once again, thank you for joining us this evening, and a special thanks to all the donors tonight. This concludes our program of the Arkansas 4-H Awards of Excellence Ceremony. We are adjourned. <laughs>